Today I will be showing you how to make this euro sign and you'll need about 34 single rubber bands and if you want to make it double bands it'll be more but it won't hold its shape. This is a single that I doubled. So let's get started. First we'll make some extensions. We'll take a single, twist, double and we'll make four of them. So we'll come one, single, twist, double Anywhere on your loom, we'll do it four times. Single, twist, double. Single, twist, double. So I have four single rubber band that we doubled. And for one of them, I'm going to take a single, twist, double, and coming down two times like that. And now we're going to cap the end peg with a single band four times. So taking a single band, looping it off four times. Now we're going to go under the cap bands, grab the bottom two bands, and loop up and onto itself and do that for all four. So that's what you have and let's take them off the loom. Take the ends off first. And we'll just keep it on our hook. Just take the extensions off the loom and keep it on a hook like that. And we'll add it to our euro later. Now let's start the euro taking a single twist double coming from the first to the second peg. And you're going to do this for your whole sign single twist double coming diagonally on the other side and single, double, come down the right side twice with a single, double, like that. And we're going to cap the end here by looping it with a single band four times. And now we'll come down our loom on the left side all the way to the third peg from the bottom. So once again we're taking a single twist double coming down our loom all the way down And I'm stopping on the third peg from the bottom and we'll go diagonally with a single twist double to the second peg from the bottom again single twist double going to the right diagonally and we'll come up two times single twist double like that and we'll cap the end peg, the top there, the fifth from the bottom on the right by looping it four times with a single band. From the fifth peg from the top, we're taking a single twist double and we'll loop a single band diagonally up, single double, connecting it diagonally like that. And now we'll skip a peg to this peg here, so that should be the seventh peg in the center, single, double, coming diagonally and doing that twice. 
So that's what your euro should look like right now. Taking our extensions, the first one should have three bands, a cap and the two loop bands, and we're attaching it to the first diagonal that came out. So we're attaching it to the fourth peg from the, on the right side, and the next one we'll attach it down on the sixth peg on the right. And make sure you get all your bands on there so it doesn't slip off. And the last two, we'll attach it on the fifth peg on the left and the seventh peg on the left. So our extensions are on, on these four pegs. And now we're going to go under, on the right side, the third peg, grab the bottom two bands, and loop up and onto itself. And we'll stop in the center first peg, right there. Now we're going to loop the bottom. On the right fifth peg, we're going to go in under the cap band, grab the bottom two bands, and we're looping it down to the fourth peg. And reach in the fourth peg, grab the bottom two bands and loop down to the third. And now the third, we're loop, reaching in, grabbing the bottom two bands and looping it to the center second. And just continue looping. Now I'm to the left third peg and now let's loop up these diagonals on the center going in the right fourth peg grab the bottom two bands and loop onto itself go in the center peg grab the bottom two bands and looping it to the left peg like that my first diagonal is done I'm looping the bottom diagonal so reaching in, grabbing the bottom two bands, and loop up to the center peg, and repeat for the center all the way to the left. That's what you should have right now. And let's finish up looping the left side all the way up to the center first peg. So we're just going to go under grabbing the bottom two bands and loop up and onto itself creating teardrops as we go and here the seventh peg we're reaching in all the way under grab the bottom two bands and looping it right onto itself creating the teardrop and you want to make sure that it's catching all the bands here and continue up and if there's any tension release it don't over pull don't break your bands and just keep looping up and the last one to the center our euro is done now taking a single rubber band slip knot Go in the center peg, grab your slip knot band, and tying it off. Let's take our euro off the loom. So there's your euro. It's a little out of shape. So what you want to do is kind of manipulate your bands so it gets into the right shape that you want and fix any loose bands by pulling it into place and you can tuck in the charm string if you want but it's okay if you want it to dangle like a charm like that and also if you want to use two bands without doubling it you can do it but it won't hold its shape it will be very flimsy so there's your euro i hope you like it thanks for watching